Hi folks, hello, how you doing? How you doing everybody? Well now, this is just a video that we're going to talk about tax inversions, right? A tax inversion, it is settled to be for an account of most likely the, the, tax in, the tax in the United States is one of the highest in the, in the developed world, right? Uh, this is stuck in my camera. Oh, I was sitting on it. Yeah. So, what it what it is is why comp why U.S. companies will do tax inversions to go there. For example, Burger King, right? Burger King has moved their headquarters to Canada, right? Because they want to save tax. An example that you could imagine: every everything you buy from tax inversions, and then. This is calling up for me, and if I would say anybody anybody buying a product, do you think you're buying actually from an American company? A, a classic example is uh, is a U.S. company. Maybe the tax inversions in Italy will be cheaper. Is that you have bought your your awesome Challenger? Are you providing for the American economy? Are you buying a an yeah, a challenger, right? Are you buying uh, or you providing for the even though it's not built in the United States, but you are you providing for the American economy with this challenger? Even if it's built in the US, if they want to build it in the US again. Well, no, you pro you are providing for the Italian economy. Why? Because this inversion is that their headquarters of Chrysler has, mo has moved to Italy. And then this tax inversion will be enough to benefit the the Italian economy, right? It is as simple as that. This is that we need to cut. You know, we need to cut the the tax. We need to cut our corporate tax so to corporations could have the economy. You know, keep money in American companies and for the money to stay in America. And then what else you would you expect for tax inversions, right? What do you, what else you, could you expect, right? It's not like something that you seen. Oh yeah, I wanna buy I wanna buy this and that and whatever. You don't know where the company's or original headquarters are from. You know, it's like plain and simple, plain and simple. Then you say you're going to buy craftsman tools at Sears. One of these days they're going to close out Kmart. And these Kmart will be another store brand. And you know, if people, if people you live in France, you know which is your store, right? Then Kmart will be closed and then it will be changed into other stores. And then the tax inversion for Sears will be... Okay, I'm buying a Sears uh, Craftsman 2 at the Sears store. Would I provide a one buy from an American company? Actually, actually, what did, if the day would happen, then everybody buying at Sears pretty soon are, pro are providing help for the French economy. Yeah, Sears, where's the headquarters? Sears headquarters have moved to France and... The Kmart stores were changed for another store chain. You know, the second, big, or they call it Care For. You know, Kmart's for Care For, right? What is this Care For for? What is this Care For? You find, what is this? You find in Craftsman Tools in France now? Just plain and simple. It's just an example why we need to have the lowest tax rate in the United States than tax inversions would happening you know it, either way that people wanted to try i don't know who to believe in it's like politics is full of garbage every simple politician would say oh yeah we're gonna, talk, we're gonna go tax cuts and everything but look what happened just because of the higher tax because just because of the higher tax rate not to go below to let's say we pay like 10 percent tax or lower lower than 30 percent then what does this do for us what does
does it do for the United States of America, right? Example, you have settled to say still what if it's still 40% or maximum than 40% or max, right? This is where I could agree with this thing of Yeah, forty percent of tax cuts. Yeah, it's just my mom coming in and I interrupt. And then what I'm talking about this, if one of the is there, there's not enough, but tax increase maximum forty percent max. Then, then you settle in. You talking about? Yeah, I'm gonna go brush my teeth, right? I'm gonna go buy some toothpaste, right? Yeah, that's something simple than brushing your teeth. Then. I would say, you know, I'm, I, I, I might say I'm a Crest user, you know, it's made in the U.S., but, I mean, if you guys are buying Colgate, and there's 40% tax, you buy the Colgate Total toothpaste, right, and then you're saying, oh yeah, I'm buying, uh, or, or any company, like Tom's from Maine is, uh, is owned by Colgate Palmolive, they have seen that they cannot handle this 40% tax rate. Then you look through this thing uh, to those two, I might say, with, talk about Japan, the Japanese economy, the world, Chinzo Abbey might just say, oh, look, we're going to cut our tax rate. Let's go 20%. Well, you're going 20, they're going 20% in Japan. Colgate don't want to pay this 40% tax rate, you know, Colgate Palmolive. So they look at inversion to have a merge again. You know, this is with, with um, uh, company mergers and then since the Unilever with the Lever Brothers. And I don't know how this thing come out with this with the merge. But yeah, it happened. Chrysler and, and, and Fiat and it happened to any company that want to merge, but this merger is, is okay. I don't I don't mind merging. I don't mind the, with this company merger. So, as how they how Colgate Palmolive wanna don't wanna pay, pay a higher tax rate, they look at Japan's cutting up the uh, twenty percent or more. You know they're cutting twenty percent or I mean twenty percent or less on their tax rate. Shinzo Abbey's Abbeynomics might just get it. Well, there's this company called Lion. Then what would be a Colgate Palmolive and a Lion merger? Then they will came, Then the company will move its headquarters to Japan to Tokyo, Japan, favoring this awesome twenty percent tax rate, very low tax rate, and Voila! They move to Japan and they call Colgate Palmolive and Lion, or they call it CPL Corp. Would CPL or Colgate Palmolive Lion has seen that this benefits of this tax rate of this merger has helped Colgate not paying the forty percent high tax rate that we that we have, while the Abbeynomics has helped Lion with the merger of Colgate Palmolive and Lion, that they moved Colgate Palmolive to Japan, their headquarters in Japan. So then you buying a toothbrush, you I mean, you buying toothpaste, right? You buying one of the Colgate brands, and then you you what are you doing? Headquarters in New York. This is Paul Colgate Palmolive. This is Colgate Palmolive Lion. What is, what is this? Where is this headquarter located? Yeah, it's located in Japan. Even though this is the U.S. based headquarters for Lion for Colgate Palmolive Lion in New York, but their main headquarters is in Japan because of the 20% lower tax rate that Japan has had to cut the 20% max rate to the max uh, tax rate to the max that. It would benefit, it would be tax haven, right? This is how it is. And I'll show you this tax rate right here, right? I'm going to show you this, and this is what it is. This is 40% of USA Corp. This is Japan Inc. Cut tax, right? Then, then the... 
then you have Japan Inc. And then this is a 10% tax cut. When there's a pellet, there's a, supposed to be a pellet that like Pac-Man, USA Corp, 40% tax rate. Then it would be most likely the tax inversions that goes, these are like the Pac-Man goes, this is jobs, U.S. economy, U.S. corp. The tax inversion would help this. This is the tax inversion. 20% sales tax in Japan. Uh, Japanese cut with the Abinomics. Abinomics at full work, at full effect. Then there will be jobs. Um, in the economy USA, U.S. economy. And the, full, and, and the benefits of cutting 20%. Then, after all, with the eyes, what this is. Ja, in, you know, 20% tax cut. You know, Japanese economy improves. Um, job sharing. The, the Japan Inc. with the 20%. This is a full effect of Abinomics. Then we have Japanese government benefits. The yen, the yen sign, stronger yen, weaker dollar, right? And 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 that's and and, and that's the effect of having forty percent, you know, tax rate how it is. If we could actually is, or am I saying the best thing? If I was like whatever political party, if I run for president, for whoa, well, yeah, our president our con, right? You know, moan imagine the political affiliation or something like that. What is the plan or what would politicians should do? Cut the, tr the rate around 20% tax cut. You know, corporate tax should be, should be cut 20% or more than if we could pay 20% or below like 10% tax rate or whatever. Then there is no risk of U.S. corporations moving their their headquarters overseas. There is no risk of Kmart going out of business and changing. I mean, Sears doing tax interventions, inversions. There is no risk of Kmart to be called a care for. Sears will be staying their headquarters in the U in the U.S. instead of going to France. Or that Colgate Palmolive be still be Colgate Palmolive. Not to mention that these things that mention of tax inversions or tax cuts, for example, General Motors, for example. You buying a Chevrolet, right? Then Gen GM seen a tax cut or of the fifteen percent, or maybe maybe. Yeah, probably 15% in Germany. Then what would would be? They merge or they get BMW. They move to Germany. And then what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get a Camaro. I'm gonna get, oh, yeah, that Corvette is whenever the GM have their tax inversions and go into Germany, then you're helping the German economy instead of the U.S. economy. This is why we need to t cut Corporate tax, corporate tax cut in the United States would benefits of corporations staying in here instead of going moving overseas with their seeds where the twenty percent tax cut or less. That I mean, that would be this tax inversion thing, and I'll show you again, and I'll show you what else did I have not seen, or well, we have seen here about it. Because this is my thing. Alright. This is what I'm using. US Corp. 40%. Japan, Japan Inc. With the Shinzo Abbey plans for cutting tax to the max. Tax cut. Went down to 20%. 10% tax cut. This is this is just showing an example of Japan of showing Abinomics to the max. Tax cut, 40% for the U.S. Corp. Let's say this one is Kogei Palmolive and this is Lion. 
Kogi Pomal are sick and tired of this tax of, of, of paying 40% tax, then they share with a sweeter deal with a 20% tax cut in Japan. Then, boom, Ta Japan Inc. tax inversions, jobs, U.S. economy, 40% tax cut. This is Colgate searching for. Uh, really 20% of their tax cut. They don't want to pay all the 40%, very high taxes. Then, Japan Inc. would be jobs, U.S. economy, the 40, they're going to cut down on 40%. And then after that, job sharing, that means there's some progress. Maybe you have a Colgate tooth, toothpaste being made in Japan with this tax inversion thing. Japanese economy improves 20% tax cut, right? This is where you have all this job sharing. Oh, yeah, you might have a Irish spring soap made in, being made in Japan, you know, and, and then some products made in the U.S. and Japan and what and so forth. Yeah, my brother, your Colgate total will be made in Japan instead of the U.S. with these simple tax inversions, right? This is... Lion, well now it's called uh, Kogei Palm Olive and Lion, now it's like a merger because of the tax inversions, right? Then, would be, this is Kogei Palm Olive and Lion, 20% tax cut, look at how big this Japan Inc. come with these tax inversions. Japanese government benefits, this is the yen sign, look at how, see the muscles are big, stronger yen, and this is the dollar sign. Weaker dollar, and that's how. And what is with the tripod hat? Even though, and and that's how, and that's how, a, and that's how a job inversion looks in paper. So it is like. This is like that's it's like a corp a foreign corporation would have seen that their country, you know, is seen that they have a cheaper tax cut that is cheaper that is lower than the U.S. forty percent. A U.S. corporation would would look for this sweeter deal of these tax of tax inversions, and then moves the corporation to the U to the country to the foreign country you have tax inversions we have we're gonna buy our product even though it's going to be made in the US it's the same like you go and buying a Toyota in Kentucky it is the same kind of deal it is the same thing the the Japanese economy improves and then you have a a, a week you know what we got is, is penny change why help our friends that we could just benefits with within us improve our economy and that way and that way this one I show you 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 just helping your friend and you let him win right with this cut tax cut of you know having like 20% or less of the uh, of uh, Corporate tax, very low corporate tax. Then uh, we we all win. We all win because the uh, improves to have a stronger U.S. economy and plus jobs. It will be great that a U.S. company will be making stuff in the U.S. They're uh, making stuff, making stuff in the U.S. A product made in the U.S. The company's based in the U.S., it is improving for the U.S. economy, and it's a win-win for all. And that is how would a president would do for corporate tax cut. Goodbye and, pe Goodbye and peace out. Bye.